So we made it to Alberta. Canada, baby, Canada. But there is one problem. What happened, love? What I, what's missing? My dignity. <laughs> no, seriously. What didn't arrive quite yet? Our, our bikes are delayed. They just weren't there on the thing that spins around and goes in circles where the luggage is supposed to come out. Carousel. And apparently, they say they're gonna either have it shipped to us tonight or tomorrow and hopefully we can get a bite right in at some point then. <laughs> Don't say that this guy. Today is Thursday and as much as I would love to be assembling the bikes right now since we didn't get them yet, uh, Jen is over here, my wife's sister, is gonna have us uh, visit some places and do something else to pass the time, you know. Why, why you lap? Wait, wait, what, what is funny over, over there? <laughs> because we are turning left and I said we have Turn left on the street. So this All is right. The, this We're learning a lot about Canada. It's a super uh, foreign land. Look at the Canadian and her it's natural habitat. So the bikes were just delivered. The airport people called at like five in the morning, telling us that they were gonna, they were on their way to bring it. We just arrived, but I'm still sleepy. Not ready to do anything yet. Probably gonna assemble it this afternoon. Yep. So it's the second day since we arrived at Red Deer and we're gonna do our first bit of mountain biking. Red Deer Mountain Bike Park is about a 50 minute drive from the house we're staying at, a dense place. The GPS is telling us to take this bike path over here and go around in a long zigzag down this way. But we decided we're just gonna go straight through this field. Look at this thing. You start off over there, right? You go up, then you got a little bit of a drop there. And then you have another jump over there. Let's go check it out. It's freaking crazy. Wow. It's way over our heads right here. Could just kind of take a look at it, huh? Like even that slanted little thing over there. Oh, it looks a little on the camera, but it's massive. Hello. Eh. Balls of steel. So we found some drops. I mean, look at this one, it's taller than my wife. And uh, I just did this one right here and it's the softest drop I've ever done in my life. And now my wife is just, her confidence is just completely shredded just looking at these things. When usually she's the first one to jump off a cliff. You can do it, love. So how do you feel now? You, you did you did the features. Look at that smile. That was easy. A few Stop minutes off. ago, you were tearing up. You were crying. Fuck off, win. Jesus. <laughs> I told you it doesn't feel like anything once you do it. The drops at Stony Creek are, are no, way worse because they're built bad. All right, let's check out what the rest of this trail has.
So I just had a really bad crash trying another one of the features. It, it has a big gap and just hit a tree, smacked my head on the ground and cracked my helmet a little bit. There's a hairline crack. So we're gonna go home now. Oh wow.